I want to honor our Father and the Lord once again, Pastor Laluba Miteko, for this opportunity to come to share the Word of God with you. And I want to say it up front that um, he is a better preacher than I am. I'm learning from him. So, and um, please take me as I am. Amen. amen. Only one person said amen. 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 Numbers 17 verse 8 It said that it came to pass Numbers 17 8 That on the morrow Moses Went into the tabernacle of witness And behold The rod of Aaron For the house of Levi Was boarded And brought forth Buds And bloomed Blossoms And yielded Almonds Numbers 17, verse 8. Sometimes it fascinates me the way the scripture, you know, goes to the length of describing some things. It said, and behold, the rod of Aaron for the house of Levi was boarded. That should have been enough, right? It still went, it said, and brought forth buds and bloomed blossoms and yielded almonds. Before now, in the beginning of the verse, we see there was a contention. Who is it that God has called? How can, there, how can there be a separation between everyone who claims they are called? And the simple test was, every one of you go and bring a branch. And they took the branches and went and deposited them in the presence of the Lord. Twelve branches at that. And it was only the blood of Aaron, only the branch of Aaron that bought it. I want to begin this morning by saying that it's not in your power to board. It's in the power of the Almighty God. Amen. That, is the, that is the foundation we are going to lay this morning. I want you to bow your head this morning. I want you to say, I'm presenting my branch to the Lord. As a symbol of life, I'm presenting my life in the mighty name of Jesus. And as I present this life, that you will touch it. And I will be differentiated from every other person by you alone causing me to board. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cannot hear your voice this morning. The race is not to the swift. We look unto you, the author and finisher of our faith. We pray this morning, O oh God, that your word will come like the dew, that you cause me to speak as your oracle. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are the one that can send forth the word. We, re we receive the ministry of your word this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will declare that your name and your name shall be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Shield your word, cause it to flourish and prosper in our midst. Give us enlightenment and understanding concerning the precept that will be laid upon precept this morning, concerning the word that will be sent for this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I want to quickly say that when you are discussing with somebody, it's very good for you to settle the language. <laughs> if I'm speaking in my own language and you are speaking in your own language, there will be a replication of the Tower of Babel. We will be quarreling with one another. So the topic before us that we're discussing this morning is the flourishing land. The flourishing land. And um, I don't know what you think about the flourishing land, but I may give one or two people an opportunity. I like people to talk back to me. I like us to have a dialogue. Who understands what it means to be in the flourishing land? Sister Sarah, be ready. <laughs> She's my beloved. Amen. Yes, ma'am. What does it mean to have the flourishing land? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is where God dwells and all the good things that he has created for human beings to enjoy. His blessings, his peace, his, his joy, his happiness is rampant and live there. Okay. So you are describing the place, right? Goodness, joy, everything is present there. That's the flourishing land. Amen. 
who else? Okay, 